All right, we are back. Time for more adventures. And hopefully I survive this time. So let's see. <laughs> Down we go. Be ready to run for my heckin' life. Run! 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 <laughs> Okay, uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Not there. Uh, up, 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 up! Run, run, run! Okay, oof, oof, made it. The slums. Oh, hello? It's- I'm a kitty! Oh, hello? Why do you press the big red button? They closed it. All right, that's fine. Oh, hello? Hey guys, I'm I'm a kitty. Look, it's me right there. Look, this is me. No. Where'd they go? Hello! Ah! Why is everyone running away? I'm just a little kitty cat! Hello? My eyes <laughs> glowing in the dark. He's doing the kitty pose. Meow. Happy face. Look, it's a happy face. Look, you like happy. Meow, 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 meow. I want to meet you. Ah! <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> you freaking me out, Hari. <laughs> What is he saying? They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. What's a Zerk? We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you do not eat anyone. I would never. I only eat rats. Hey, Snacko! Yes, it'd be Kibby Sneaky time. I'm making friends already. Hey, Vino! You're late, don't worry. I didn't get too far because of a lot of technical issues. <laughs> you started the stream like 45 minutes late. <laughs> you look lost. What do you need? I want to show him... This. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives up high in that building with the orange neon sign. Okay. Someone working on models had to be there at work. Wait, a model for you? A model for me? Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. 
The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we got to getting out of here. That's exciting. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Who's making it for you? You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I never see nothing work and I'd be I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Why go up there? There's nothing there. Um Oh, they're like monks. Interesting. Maybe I'll show one of them the picture, just for fun. Ooh, very pretty. Okay, he just knows it's pretty. <laughs> That's fair. Hello. Can I meet you? I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is amazing technology. Oh, it's a 3D model. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> You're a boy kisser. <laughs> I cannot help you. I'm only experienced with girl kissers. There's nothing I can do. So I gotta go to that building. Let's go say hi to people as we go over. Hello, it's me. You do look like a little zerk, from far away at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Oh, a cafe. Hello. You want something? Yeah, why not? I'll show you this. Ah, the myth of the blue sky. Beautiful concept. Okay, everyone just thinks it's beautiful. We have the bartender know something. He's a bartender after all. Oh, he has a picture. He has pictures over there. Hold on. Look at that. Oh! Oh, it's on my head. Okay. Hold on, I just want to look at that. One, two, eight, three. Zero minus love equals seven. So love is negative seven. One, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. We're, you're new around here. What can I do for you? Look at this. Oh, this is a nice picture of the outside. Momo is a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an orange neon sign. Well, Arielia, it's up to you what kind of kisser you are. That is a very low level of violence. True. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. You want to go outside? Well, good luck. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Oh, remember. Do you remember soup? Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans? Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be res disrespectful of their ways. Mmm. I don't know, mud. 
Let's look at that. <laughs> it was Carl. One, two, eight, three, one, two, eight, three. Oh, let me go see if there is another way I can go. I don't think I saw one. Oh, no, there is. Hello? Hello? Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again, or else Cosmo will be ticked off. The outside? Why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Oh, those paint cans that were being dropped? That might have been me. <laughs> Just maybe. I don't know. Can't prove it. Hello. Careful! I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Can you, can you throw me? Let me wait. Boink! <laughs> I'm such a pest. Oh, he's pissed. Oops. Let me go see what he has to say about that. <laughs> Definitely was not me. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. At least the door's open. Ooh, wait, is this kitty toy? Oh no, they're laundry balls, but you know, that's the same thing. Let's see, is there something I can find around here? There must be some sort of secret I can get. Hmm. There has to be something here for me. Let's take the super spirit detergent. All right. I guess that's all I needed. I don't know what I'll need it for, but probably for something. That's the building right here. How do I get in? Did I hear a Vino? <laughs> and Vino was his name Oh, Hold on, I didn't read it. Announcement! I am looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them to me. I live near the elevator. Morose. Okay. I don't have any sheet music yet. I'll have to find some. Let's see. What is my best way to go up? Duh! You know, Aurelia, at some point I'm going to be desensitized to it. How many points do you have saved up? That's like the most explosions I've seen from one stream. Ooh. Let's see. Up here? And up here? Um... Not down. I don't want to go down. I want to go up. Hmm. No. Oh, across? Across the way? No? Where do I go? Oh, here we go. Up. Up. Ooh, nice. Hello. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Oh! I have a picture of the real sky. The outside. 
Momo told me he'd get me there one day. 2k? Oh my goodness. Well, I guess he did spend a lot. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me take a little nap. You'll stop giving me heart palpitations? <laughs> Good, I might live you. I might live long enough to finish the game then. <laughs> Don't feel bad though, I deserve it. Well, that bucket won't help me get there. My dog is crying, and I'm not sure why. Coda, why are you crying? Oops. Don't mind me. That wasn't me. Hmm. Oh, across. Up. 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 Hi, Coda. Why were you crying so much? Hold on, I'm gonna pet him for a second. <laughs> oh. Up. And across. Hello. Are you Momo? Oh, he's got a rainbow face. I like it. Momo. Outsiders. Carpet. Ooh, I like the music here. Oh no, play the music. Come back. There we go. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling, if I believe my books. A big blue sky is hidden behind. I can't see. Oh god, my controls are, are... I can't... I can't move. My controls are all inverted. <laughs> ah! Guys! 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 Ah! Oof. I'm free. I'm free. Ew. A lot of stuff in the fridge. And look. A beautiful painting. Or a photo, I guess. That actually would be a photo. Oh, look at this. You remember something? Yeah, that was a cute idea with the bag. It was very funny. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? To be fair, Aurelia, I think they I think they want to see natural light again. They keep saying they want to see the blue sky. They just don't have any blue sky. Don't really have a choice. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. What do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're all gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that frickin' transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. 
Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sister. Sisters. We must present. We must stay away from the Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zebaltzar, Zebaltzar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. I gotta do something important. Just gotta mark my territory. Alright, all done. Well, I guess there's nothing else here. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna distract it. <laughs> the symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh, it does. That seems like a lead. Alright, to there we go! Hmm. This way? Oh, look, a ball. There it goes. I need to get across again. How are you over there? Over here? We could get there. Let's get down. I don't need help from B12. I, I'm a cat. I know how to get to places. I know how to get places I don't need to be at. I don't need any help with that. See? Easy. Look at me. Oops. Ignore that. Easy peasy. guys really need to clean up. I'll clean for them. And is the air nay? Of course yay. Who would say nay? Who would be a naysayer? Sheet music. Oh, sweet. I can get that to the guitar guy who starts with, I think, an M? notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. That's not good. 
I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. I wonder what Momo did. Wonder where the other ones could be. What's wrong, Coda? Why are you crying? He's crying so much right now, I don't understand it. Hi, ASOL! Let's see. Can I get up there? No. Wait, what's. Oh no, that's just a. Uh... Where else could there be a notebook? Oh, over there. I see one. Or I see a symbol. I just had to get over there. What's this? Red button. How are they still broadcasting? What are these reruns? Aussie accent, Yerne. Um Yay? I don't actually... I I don't actually recall too much what it sounds like. Well, actually, no, I remember. I would, I mean, I don't know why I would say nay. Is this like a... Like, can you do it? Or is it like, do you, do you find it attractive? I'm a little confused by the question. Yeah, you created ASOL, so you just make one up. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Oh, sheet music. Perfect. I wonder if there was sheet music on the other piano I found. Oh, too late to go there. Oh my god, so many books. I'm gonna make a mess. Hey, Doc. I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Oh, hold on. Skip. Wham's the kind of girl to go down to the... to the... to Bondi Beach in a pair of songs. What? That's what they call flip-flops. Oh. I mean, what else would she go in? <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Aurelia. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm gonna pause really quick. Um, be right back in a second. Um, I need to check on my dog and see what's going what's going on with him. I think something's bothering him. <laughs> so be right back. Okay, I am back. I don't know what's up with my dog. He's like... <laughs> I thought he had to go to the bathroom, but he didn't, so... <laughs> He's just being dramatic, I guess. See, cats' cats are not as dramatic, so... 
I don't know what his deal is. It's because I'm playing cat game? True. He's probably being like, why are you not playing a dog game, huh? Traitor. Seriously, it's so dramatic. How to develop your artificial- oh, I already skipped this. Let's see. So I got this all. There there should be a notebook here. There should he said it was a safe key. So there should be a safe somewhere. It might be hidden behind some books, perhaps. Oh, and there's something up there. Oh. This is just very comfortable. Well, that's fine. You know, sometimes you just need a quick nap. Aw, oh, purring. <laughs> sometimes you just need to relax a little bit, you know? Nothing's too urgent right now. So maybe, like, it's hidden behind some books? I don't know. I'm making stuff up. Is there anyone I can go from here? Nope. Aha! It was hidden behind the books. I'm so smart. Meanwhile, 16 hours passed and came. That's fine. We're not doing anything. Oh my god, can you imagine if there was like some actual consequences because I decided to take a little cat nap? <laughs> nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to be. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Alright. Uh, whoops. I was just carrying some books on me. Don't worry about that. There has to be another one somewhere. Is there one that I can see? Oh, right there. I just gotta make my way across. Easy. Across and up. Hmm. Let me get over there somehow. Hey, can you throw me? Oops. No. Okay, I don't need to be thrown. <laughs> Forget that idea. It was a stupid idea, I guess. Do I get back up? Oh, there we go. Up. And, um, um, up. Up. Perfect. Okay, so there should be something around here that I can get to. Ventilation power supply. There we go. Noink. Must be all the outsiders. Is 
So I got in here. Ah, there we go. Wait, what? Why do I need to be outside? Is there something else? No, oh, I missed something. On a scale of 1 to 10, how far are you? Bird slam a 9. Um. I'm probably like a 7. I can't claim to be like the furriest of furries because I don't have like a fursuit or anything. And I haven't been to a furry convention. But I have a fursona. I use my fursona here, obviously. Uh, make a lot of furry art. You would say a 5.5? Oh, there he goes in these boxes. Finally, the last notebook. Wham is the furry, what you mean? Hey, I think you're giving me too much credit, Halo. Do you talk like this? No, I do not talk like this. I don't go that far. Not unless I'm joking around. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. If I'm talking to other furries and we're joking around, I probably will talk like that, but I don't talk like that, like, in day-to-day -day conversation. I, I don't go that far. All trace of organic life has disappeared, except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breeds, and breed at inconceivable rates, as if being locked in the city wasn't bad enough. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show what we let's show him what we found. You do it when you type? Yeah, I know. I don't I don't do it when I talk. For sh I, I do not do it when I talk. <laughs> If, uh, when I say I talk, when I talk to other people, it's, yeah, it's when I'm texting. Oh, forgot about the question. A superhero with the power to negate any type of harm. Yeah, that would make fights pretty boring. Like, if he's in a fight, he nor the villain can deal damage to anyone, like he said. So it'd just be just kind of a slap fight. <laughs> the most boring- well, I guess it could be an intense slap fight. But the intensity is not in the slapping, it's in the... It's in the amount of slapping. <laughs> hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yeah, hold on. Let me show you one. That's a Baltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Someone with the power to file their taxes correctly. You know, he'd be boring, but also very essential. I would need- I need that superhero in my life. Hmm. 
Oh. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Oh, you found Clementine's notes? She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I have ever met. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. Yeah, I did say a, a, power, a hero who could summon air. <laughs> Although summoning oxygen might be useful sometimes. <laughs> that means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Although I guess even if it's useful, it wouldn't be exciting unless you paired it up with like explosions or something. Clementine, Zabalthazar, Doc, I'm sorry. I doubt our cause. I'll promise you, I'll find a way to breach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's pick this piece of junk transceiver. Yeah, then you don't want him near your scene. <laughs> Voila! It works! Come with me! Up there! See that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to invade the, evade the Cirques. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Mop says, a superhero that is only invisible when you're not looking at him. <laughs> oh, man. That would be funny, though. That would be funny to watch. <sighs> oh, no. There's a burning building. Time to use my powers. Yeah, no, please, please, that's one way to turn to a supervillain real quick. <laughs> Against your will, you become the supervillain. <laughs> to the tallest building? That one? I'm assuming that's the one I can see. Oops. That's fine. Wee The rooftops. What I can't climb on that? Oh, there are Zergs up here. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Meow to attract enemies. I don't really want to attract them. Can I attract them off the roof? Bye! Hey! Oof. Oh, made it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Get up, get it. Oh. Uh-oh. reassuring. That's a reassuring achievement name.
Remember. Editor man. He has notes about how you can improve your character's backstory. They're not good notes. <laughs> the city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be a strict energy cap, especially in the slums, where people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up a rainbow lamp. Neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope and not too long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again like on the outside. I think it helped. Coda! Hmm. Coda! Stop it! This is cat game, not dog bark game. Hmm. Where can I go? I need to go over. do for me. Hmm. Well, it gives me a second to think. Algebra teacher. Ah! Screw you. Get off, get off, get off. Now I almost hurt. Okay, now I can think. Can't get up here. So I can get up here, but I'm not sure what I can do. B12, what do you think? Alright, let's go put the transceiver all the way on top of that big building. I know, but how? Where do I go now? I thought I could jump up here, but it doesn't- Oh, wait, there we go. Oop. There we go. Now where do I go? I'm up here. Oh, now I hit this again. And there we go. They won't let the criminals leave the bank before the police arrive until they can answer a 99-page algebra bracket till the end of class. Man. 99 pages is cruel. Are you sure they're not a supervillain? You have salsa spaghetti? What the heck is salsa spaghetti? That sounds cursed.
Is there a way I can shut them in there? Bad place, bad place. Um, okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing with this. Okay, oh, there we go. Suckers. That scared me. Those things are so scary. I do not like them. Oh good, there's more. They're actually kind of cute from a distance. Yeah, from really far away from me. From super far away from me, because I don't like them. Are these eggs? These look like eggs. I don't like that there's eggs. Yeah, they're pr they are head crabs, literally. Why did I sign up for this? I don't like this, it's ominous. Oh, great. More fun stuff. More fun stuff. <laughs> Alright, I know we just took a break, guys, but I didn't actually get to, like, take my break um, when I took Coda out. So we're going to pause here. Uh, I need to put a break in the recording anyway. So be right back. Take a stretchy like I'm actually going to and also a drink. And we'll resume with this hellscape soon. <laughs> 